Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to divide a circle into nine equal parts. So if you have a circle and you have to divide it into nine equal parts, how do you go about it? So that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So before we get into this video, if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe to this channel, uh, kindly click on that subscribe button. It's absolutely free to subscribe. So just click on the subscribe button below at the lower right of your screen. So click on the little bell icon. So just click on those two so that you get notified whenever we release any video. Alright, so kindly go ahead and click on subscribe button now. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just done that. Alright, so now let's get into this video. So also, before we start this video proper, it's important to know that irrespective of the radius of the circle that you are asked to divide into nine equal parts, the step is still the same thing. So that's why I already have my, my circle. So either you are given a radius of 50 millimeter, 10 millimeter, whatever millimeter radius or diameter, just know that the steps are still the same thing. So now once you have your circle like this, one thing you have to note is the center of your circle. So for my, the center of my circle, this is it. So let me call this point O. So let me call it point O. So if you use your compass to draw your circle, then you it should be easy for you to locate the center. You know, so you can see that. So this point where we are having this tip is represent the center. And if maybe you are using a round object, then you might want to just apply the principle of how to find the center of a circle with unknown when the center is not given, where you do something like this, and then you find draw a perpendicular line and so you'll be able to get the center. This is just a freehand sketch. I've done a video on this. You can check the um, playlist on technical and engineering drawing for that. So now let's come back to this. So now that we have the center of our circle, so one thing we are going to draw is the diameter. So let's draw the diameter. So this is it. So, and then if you... Talking about a circle, the total angle in a circle is 360 degrees. So if you have 360 degrees divided by 9, don't forget you are dividing this thing into 9, 360 degrees divided by 9, so that will give us 40 degrees. So that means each of these, these uh, angles we are going to be having in this circle is going to be at 40 degrees apart. So in doing that, after drawing this radius, you bring in your, your protractor, you place it at point O, make sure it is properly placed. Is very important make sure it is properly placed so if you are not sure of the placement you can decide to extend it this uh, the radius to a full diameter but make sure the one on the other side is a faint line make sure it's a thin line that's a construction line so something thin so if so if that will allow you to place your protractor on that line properly okay so once you've been able to place your protractor at the center of this circle so from where we are having the radius you measure 40 degrees so this is 40 40 degrees now plus another 40 that's 80 you mark it 80 so 80 plus another 40 that's 120 so 120 plus another 40 that's 160 so 160 plus another 40 that's 200 so I'm using my protractor stops at 180. So let me just take it out. So if you have a protractor that measures total of 360, so you just continue like that. So you're going to be having 40, 80, plus under 40, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280, uh, 320, and then 360. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you can see. So since mine is talking at 180, let me just stop at 160 and then I'll show you how to continue. So first let's draw all these points we are we've just noted. This one this 40, 60, uh, 40, 80, 120, and 160. So let's draw a line from point O to pass through those lines and touch the circumference. So this is what I said now. I said from point O, you draw a line that will pass through these points that we've just marked and come and touch the circumference of the circle. So from point O, you repeat the same thing. You draw a line that will pass through the, the line, uh, those points you've marked to touch the circumference of the circle. Alright, so now to get the other part, what you do is you bring back your protractor, you know. The other time, this is how we placed it. 
So this time around, you can just turn it like this, and then you place it as still at the center. So it's very important to make sure that uh, your protractor is properly placed at the center. So you repeat the same process, but this time around in anti-clockwise direction. So we are going to be having 40. So this is, okay, this is 40, 80, plus another 40, 120, plus another 40, 160. So we are going to repeat the same thing again. So from point O, you draw a line that will pass through those points that we've just marked to touch the circumference of the circle. From point O, you draw a line that will pass through these points and touch the circumference. And then for the last one, So with this now, we've been able to divide the circle into nine. Now, if you extend this uh, this radius to form a diameter with a thin line, so you can go ahead to uh, clean it, bring in your eraser, then you just rub it off, so that you don't get confused with it. So with that, we already have our circle divided into nine. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine so we've been able to divide this circle into nine equal parts so this is how you go ahead to divide the circle into nine equal parts if you find value in this video please give it a thumbs up if you are yet to subscribe to pe academy kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and also in the description of this video i'll leave a link to other videos showing you how to divide the circle into five six seven you know and other uh, equal parts of a circle so thank you very much and i'll see you all in another video thank you